officials say there is now little hope of finding any survivors in that South Korean ferry disaster. More bodies were recovered on Saturday. At least 36 people have been confirmed dead, with over 250 still missing. The captain of the ferry defended his reason for not giving orders to abandon ship earlier. He says he was afraid passengers could be swept away by the strong current. The captain is in custody along with two other crew members. Prosecutors say an inexperienced third mate was steering the ship at the time of Wednesday's accident. The tragedy has hit especially hard in the South Korean city of Ansan, the hometown of many of the students on board. Residents there continue to mourn and pray for the victims. Our correspondent Terence Terashima visited the town and filed this report. Families waiting with faint hope and despair, anger and confusion surrounds the harbor as another day passed with little progress in the search rescue operations. Over 270 people, mostly teenagers, are believed to be still trapped, mostly students from Danwon High School on the way to a school trip turned tragedy. Here at Danwon High School, students, parents and local residents continue to visit, leaving messages and flowers for those that were killed or still missing. Some of the students are scheduled to go down to Jindo to join a funeral service. Heartfelt notes left outside the classroom with empty desks, how they miss their friends and schoolmates, some still clasping on hope that they would return. All the students here wish that they will come back. Hang in there a little longer, and when you return, let's go out for something nice. The news of the death of their vice principal shocked the students even further. 52-year-old Kang Ming Kyu said to have committed suicide out of guilt. He left a note saying surviving alone was too painful. Doctors warned that many of the survivors are suffering from post-traumatic stress and immediate treatment is needed to prevent further tragedy like the vice principal. The high school is located in a quiet town in Anzan City. The residents are shocked and having hard time digesting the situation. Many of the students would have used this road to commute to their school. Residents say for the most part the town has been quiet save the commotions of the visiting press. My house is right in front of the high school. I feel very bad for the students and my heart goes out to them. It is such a tragedy. The school is closed until 23rd April. No joint funeral service is planned so far, but a number of prayer sessions are scheduled. Terence Hiroshima, CCTV, Anzan City.